Uh, my name is James and I am the founder of Black Milk Clothing. It started with me having chronic headaches. Uh, I was actually like, I, all my hobbies involved looking at computer screens for long periods of time. And so I was like, you know what, I need a hobby that doesn't involve me looking at a computer screen. And then I think it was fairly random, but I was in cash converters and I saw a sewing machine. It was like $99. I was like, that looks like a fun uh, little hobby. So I bought a sewing machine, took it home and I was absolutely broke. So I didn't have any money to buy nice fabric. So I bought $2 a meter nylon lining. And then I found this dancewear shop where they would like sell off cuts and it was like super cheap. So I was like, okay, I'll buy like nylon and like fuchsia pink dancewear. And I had no idea how to sew. So I picked the simplest pattern I could possibly figure out, which as it turned out was leggings. All right, welcome to my little experiment. I'm gonna be doing a video blog post this time and filming my latest creation, which is this wet look with this kind of crazy feature on each side of the leg. So uh, yeah, I hope you like them. I've got uh, only a couple of them at the moment, but I'll do some more if they turn out to be popular. Shocky, shocky, shocky. Amazing day, we had a little mini release to celebrate 100,000 fans, and that was really successful. And everyone bought lots of clothes, and that was amazing. And I appreciate you guys doing all that. We have some really kind of cutesy kawaii stuff at one end, and then we have some kind of almost high fashion stuff at the other end, which I think you guys are going to absolutely. At this rate, I'm going to be doing five video podcasts before the year 2012. I love you all deeply, collectively. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Edinburgh. <laughs> hey, guys. James from Black Note here. Sharkies. Can you imagine that? 500 amazing women right here in Brisbane. Interesting things to do with side pants. Me personally, I want to see people, talented, passionate, awesome people coming together as a team and just doing great things. Um, my kind of approach to it is almost like a football team where it's like, okay, I, I, want, I want that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy on my team and then just let them play. And, um, that's, I think, what we've, I think we've succeeded in doing that really well. We've got We've got a bit of a dream team and we love all the people and it's just about giving them the time and the tools they need and saying go create something amazing and they do.